Well, a group of local firefighters spent a recent day burning an acquired house for training purposes. Clayton Castle met up with the group at the house in Ottertail and filed this report. It was hot in Ottertail on Saturday morning, not because of the weather, but because of an acquired structure burn put on by the fire and EMS program at Central Lakes College. The training exercise brought together both new and veteran firefighters from a number of local fire departments. New York Bills Fire Department came up uh, with this structure, so we come together with all these departments and we do training burns to teach firefighters how to be better firefighters. There were multiple levels of burns performed based on the firefighters' experience. So the new firefighters, they do what we call level one burns. So they get to go in and we slowly build it in front of them. So they get to see the fire behavior and learn, you know, what it does when we put water in the fire. A veteran firefighters get what we call a level two burn. It's a little more involved fire, um, it's a little hotter, and they get to use some more advanced techniques to put out the, the fire. While massive house fires don't necessarily happen as regularly in rural communities as urban communities, the extra training still teaches a valuable lesson to all firefighters, regardless of experience. You know, we need to respect the fire. Um, we need to understand how our gear and equipment works and how well it works, and we need them to become comfortable with it. You know, what gets a firefighter if they're not comfortable with fire? Now, while this exercise was for both new and veteran firefighters, even the veteran firefighters still learn something from the experience. The uh, importance of training, just getting, getting used to what you're going to deal with in real life if an actual fire does happen, which they do all the time. It's good to experience this while you're uh, in a controlled environment where you've got safety, for, you know, you've got people to back you up right there ready to go. The lessons learned here are key to performing the heroic actions of firefighters at the benefit of the community, which is why many are in the profession. Just to help out my local community and, um, you know, the, the help was needed and, and uh, I live around here <laughs> every day, so it's just, just the right thing to do. Reporting in Otter Tail, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. The Salvation Army provided free food and water to the firefighters during the training exercises. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.